Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Now then, today I'm going to be working on my BMW E60 and I want to replace both of the mounts on my prop shaft. Now then, I'll show you what they look like real quick. So we have some Febby Bilstein parts. Febby Bilstein are a good German brand. They make good OEM parts. So that is who I tend to go with. Now, I'll show you what the mounts look like real quick. This is the first one. It is a, I'm pretty sure it's called a Guibo uh, or a prop shaft donut, whatever you want to call it. This basically connects the gearbox or transmission to the prop shaft. And then we have the center prop shaft bearing. And this basically allows the prop shaft to float. So this sits right in the middle. And I'm pretty sure that both of them are going to be um, quite worn because my car has covered 120,000 miles. I'm assuming that they've never been replaced. And actually, when I go to accelerate, so as soon as I step on the accelerator pedal, I get a clunking sound kind of from the middle of the car. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something to do with one of these mounts. Now, like I said, I, I have no idea um, the condition that they're both in. Um, but obviously we'll find out today. So um, without further ado, let's get outside. Let's get the car up in the air and uh, then see what we're working with. Okay then, so we have the car up in the air supported by four jack stands. And I've actually removed this cover. This cover will need to be removed. It's just held in by a load of eight millimeter screws. And with that cover removed, we now have access to be able to see the prop shaft which is this thing right here so because it is tucked away up there obviously connects the transmission that's that guibo or donut uh, mount that I was talking about and then the prop shaft goes all the way down there to the rear differential but because it is tucked away up there I'm thinking best thing to do is just completely drop the exhaust from the catalytic converter back. Just try and disconnect it from there. Drop all this down, remove the heat shields, and then obviously we'll have good access for the uh, prop shaft then. First thing I'm going to do though is just disconnect this uh, oxygen sensor. There we go. Okay then, so I think the first thing I'm going to remove is this exhaust um, sensor support. And it's just held in by four 13mm bolts. Let's get that out. And the next thing we're going to do is remove this nut which holds the catalytic converter to the rest of the exhaust. So it's just a 14 millimeter nut. That should separate now. I'll leave that like that. So then when I uh, drop the rest of the exhaust so I can just pull it off then. Next one is this mount here. So with this mount released, I'm pretty sure there's just a couple down at the back box. Okay then, so this is the situation. We have one mount there which I'm just going to unhook the exhaust bracket from it. And then we just have two mounts at the back, which I'm actually just going to unbolt just to save destroying the rubber, trying to, you know, remove this out. There's one uh, nut there, and there's also one nut there for that one. So I'm just going to unbolt um, these two rear ones. And then, like I said, with this one, just, uh, just unhook it. Okay, so I can't seem to move the exhaust far enough 
this way. So I think what I'm going to do is actually remove the two rear ones first and I should be able to move the whole exhaust over enough so that I can just remove it out of this mount. Okay then, so the exhaust is off. That's pretty much the entire exhaust, apart from the catalytic converter downpipe. Yeah, all off, out the way. And now we have access to the heat shields, and then behind that is of course the prop shaft. Now it's time to remove all of the eight millimeter screws just holding this center heat shield in. Okay then, so I thought I'd just try something. So I'm just taking the handbrake off just to allow the rear wheels to move around. And obviously I can move the prop shaft now, which will allow me to get onto the bolts. But what I noticed was from pulling on this, I don't know how well you can hear that. There is actually a slight knocking noise. Now whether or not that is going to be the source of the knocking noise that we get when accelerating, time will obviously tell, but let's get this thing off anyway and then obviously we can inspect it all closer. So I have went ahead and removed two of the bolts, there's actually three not four like I said, um, but yeah they're 18 millimeter bolts, they have an 18 millimeter nut on the back so just hold the 80 millimeter nut with a spanner and then uh, undo the bolt with a socket. I'm actually going to leave one of them in though because if obviously if I remove all three then it's just going to drop down here but then what I'm going to do is remove all but one of these uh, e-torx bolts and then finally I'm going to remove the um, center bearing these two bolts here. one in okay so I've just taken one of the center bearing bolts out but I think I'm actually just gonna leave one of them in now and then remove the final one at the front then remove this and then remove the one at the rear otherwise it's all just gonna fall on top of me I think so that wouldn't be good Okay then, so the prop shaft is now off. The hardest part was prising this end which goes into the differential away from the differential. Kind of sits into a recess. 
So after you've removed them bolts, it's not just going to be a case of pulling this off. You will actually need to insert a screwdriver into these slots and then prise it away from the differential. Now I've actually taken the guibo or the donut mount off and as you can see it is an original BMW part but to be honest it really doesn't look like it's in bad condition at all. I kind of expected these uh, points where the bolts go into to be a li little bit more worn and to be you know quite a bit of play in there but to be honest that kind of looks brand new so I'm kind of surprised with that obviously we are going to be replacing it anyway because we have a brand new part but um, yeah this is covered 120,000 miles I'm guessing and um, yeah you really wouldn't think so and now what we need to do now is actually separate the two parts of the prop shaft to get this uh, center bearing off and there's actually quite a large bolt in there that we will check the size of a I'm guessing it's like a 16 17 or 18 and then we need to undo that and then the two sections of the prop shaft should come apart then okay then so to separate the two parts of the prop shaft obviously I need to remove the 18 millimeter bolt but when you go to turn the bolt usually the entire shaft will try to move but what I've done is I've stuck the one side into a vise and what that means now is I can just fit my 18 millimeter spanner in and I can then undo the bolt which is pretty loose now so I need to get this off the prop shaft should come in two pieces okay so got the bolt out we have the two different sections of the prop shaft now one thing that is to be noted that these prop shafts are balanced so you need to make sure that they go back onto the spline the way that they came off so I've actually put a pen mark I don't know how well you can see that on that section and then I put a pen mark onto the spline as well so it's got to go back on in the exact same position as well as you're going to have big problems next thing we need to do is try and remove the actual bearing itself it seems to be pretty stubborn and wanting to stay on there okay then so we have our old center bearing off we have our new one on I've actually just tapped it on using a large socket and a mallet and I've actually applied some grease to the spline as well and to the inside of there just to help it go in a little bit easier and then all I need to do now is slide that into there obviously joining up the line so it stays balanced and, uh, and then all we need to do is tighten up that bolt and connect it all together. Okay then, so that is the new centre support bearing on and that is the bolt that holds the two sections of the prop shaft together. Also applied some thread locker on there as well just so the bolt doesn't come loose. Now it's time to install the new guibo. Obviously three bolts to attach the guibo to the prop shaft and another three bolts which, is, which attaches the prop shaft to the gearbox. Okay then, so the Guibo is now on, the three bolts are in, and I've actually applied some uh, thread locker to the uh, bolts as well, just to make sure that them nuts don't come loose. Now that's all that's left to do is get this put back on the car. Okay then, so, quick little update. We now have the prop shaft back in place, everything tightened down, and uh, just for the sake of it as well, because I had a new uh, gearbox mount to install. I went ahead and done that as well. If you want to do it yourself, all you need to do 
is take the weight of the gearbox with a jack, uh, put some wood across as well just to uh, distribute the weight, um, and then just lower this mount here, so there's four bolts, and the one that holds the mount to it, uh, and then drop that down, and then take the mount out, and then obviously put the new one in. It's pretty simple stuff, I didn't bother showing you guys, but yeah, that's uh, a new gearbox mounting. To be honest, there's really nothing wrong with it, but I went and replaced it anyway just for the sake of it but um yeah prop shaft is all now back in some nice shiny new metal and um yeah it's just going to be a case of putting everything back now i'm not going to bother showing you guys but you know it's just basically the reversal of what we've already done so putting all the heat shields back and then the exhaust okay then so we have everything put back as you can see, all of the under trays are back on. The exhaust is all back in place. The exhaust uh, support is back in place. And we are pretty much job done. Now all we need to do is get the car back on the floor and then uh, take for a test drive. Okay then guys, so uh, just took the car for a little test drive. To be honest, no real uh, massive differences um, you know it could just be a placebo effect but it kind of feels a little bit firmer and um, I don't know I guess more solid I guess I could say but you know it's more than likely a placebo effect uh, the the clunking on acceleration is kind of still there but it's like less pronounced than it was before so i really don't know what that could be um like i said it's like less pronounced now so it's kind of quieter so it's it's weird i, I really do not know what that is I, I i assumed it would either be the guibo um which i actually don't think it was that now because the original one was in you know near perfect condition um or it was the center bearing and obviously we've changed the center bearing as well so yeah um i really don't know what it could be if i've got if of course you guys have any thoughts what it could be um you know whether whether it's normal or not um i don't know well uh i guess we'll you know probably spend lots lots more money trying to chase the um cause of the problem i've actually uh, checked all the other bushes and everything as well and I can't see anything that's kind of standing out to me that looks like it's um, failing so yeah um, it is uh, it remains a mystery at the moment but yeah this um, the jobs of you know done today so the guibo the center bearing the prop, prop shaft center bearing and the gearbox mount in the end um, has definitely not been the nicest of jobs if you were to do it yourself you know take away the recording time and all that you would probably get it done in i would say mm, three to four hours but because obviously you know i record and i have to change camera batteries and try and get good angles and all the rest of it it takes me anywhere from like you know I don't know eight or nine hours like it literally when you're recording it literally doubles or triples the amount of time that a job should take so yeah i hope you guys appreciate that um yeah it's uh i'm glad that i'm i'm glad that i've done the jobs today because obviously i know that they've been done now and um, they should to be honest they should now last me um the lifetime of the vehicle um i want to get you know about 100 another hundred thousand miles out of it so yeah we should be all good um i really can't think of any other um jobs that are that involved left to do on this car now um you know I'm, of course we will have some suspension components you know arms and springs and um, top mounts things like that that we'll need replacing in the future but nothing that should be you know this involved um but yeah I'm, I'm just glad that it's done now it's definitely not been that fun line on the cold floor with um, flakes of uh, rust falling in my eyes but 
yeah, we got it done. Enough rambling now. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please give this video a like if you have. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already done so. We've got so many more BMW videos on the way. And I'll see you guys in that next video. Peace.